Hi, Dave Jack here, Superintendent of Fauquier County Public Schools with another edition of Checking In. Probably only going to do one or two more checking ins this year um, as the school year begins to draw to a, to a conclusion. Uh, but I did receive a question from my finance director, our budget director, um, who had, had been asked this by a, a colleague. And it, it, the question went something like this. We, you're all, you all are always talking about uh, equity. And um, what does that mean? What do you mean by equity? Is it just, you know, quotas and, and making sure everyone gets the same thing? What do you mean by that? And um, that, that's not what we're talking about. And I guess I, I'll take responsibility for not being explicit enough about what it is we mean when we talk about equity. Because in my view, equity really has three meanings, right? One is uh, equity of access. Uh, physical access and um, this goes back to the days of when ADA was introduced during the Reagan administration um, whereby you know schools public buildings etc have to be places where uh, folks who are differently abled have access and it's just things as simple as like sidewalk cutouts where you know th those things at one time weren't required now they are required and so that provides people in wheelchairs access to crossing the street, getting on the sidewalk, and elevators in public buildings, et cetera. Those are all physical access pieces, and they promote equity. And, and a, a closer to home example in schools is for uh, students with, uh, with disabilities, having access to certain technologies, for example, that enable them to participate in a regular curriculum and participate in things, even things like physical, physical activities through adapt to p or something. But it's it's that physical access piece. So we have to ensure that for students. The second is access or equity of opportunity. And uh, this is this is important because uh, my feeling is, you know, any student, no matter where they are, should have the same access to um, a rigorous and engaging curriculum, have the same access to really enriching uh, field trips. And, you know, for example, I've not, I, I think the governor's school and AP and honors, and all, that's all great stuff. And, and my kids were AP students. And it's great stuff. But it became really clear to me, even as a parent, that those kids who are involved in AP or governor's school and things like that, they have access to field trips, experiments, guest speakers, uh, a really rich, um, rich dialogue in class, et cetera that other students don't have access to, and that's a real problem. And back when I taught, another example of this, back when I taught, or even when I was a principal, you know, typically the best teachers, the best in quotation marks, uh, worked with the best, again, quotation marks, best students. And that's not equitable. <laughs> that wasn't equitable then, and it's not equitable, equitable now. And um, so, you know, how do we address that? Well, that's part of this whole conversation we're having about equity and equity of access. The last one, and maybe the most important one, has to do with equity of mindset. And there, there's plenty of examples of this, and I could kind of go on and on about this, but it really comes down to this. Um, equity of mindset really has to do with the belief that all kids can be successful, right? And, and the, the willingness to take risks and to ensure that, you know, all kids have, have you know, the same kinds of access to, to rich curriculum, et cetera, and a mindset amongst teachers and administrators that these kids can be successful. Because my experience working with kids over the last 29 years is you raise the bar for kids, kids will, they will meet you. They will, they will rise to the occasion. And just had a really rich conversation on the governor's school meeting about this very thing. If you tell kids that they can do it, and you convince them, help convince them that they can't, they will do it. They will be successful, and they'll they'll achieve beyond um, what what you might expect. And mindset also has to do with stereotype and, and kids' backgrounds, and and you know all those things go into a mindset that we adopt as administrators and, and teachers and instructors, and at the end of the day, we have to, we really have to believe that these kids can be successful. We need to challenge the kids and we need not to make excuses for kids. Um, we need to keep raising the bar for them. It may, means, may mean we need to support them differently, 
but it, it means but more importantly it means that our expectations remain the same we don't lower the bar frame the goal is to raise the bar for everyone not just for some students that's key so this is one of those subjects I can talk about forever and but I won't because poor Carol has to transcribe this um, so I'm going to stop there, but it, this is one of those subjects, if you ever want to talk to me about it one-on-one, -on -one, I'd be glad to because it's a very passionate about the subject, and I hope you have a great day and a great rest of the week.